my leg has given me the ability to walk very, very fast on a daily basis, to keep up with my active friends and my active mums, and to, to get us stuck into all normal aspects of, of my life. With the Orion, when I'm traveling on loose gravel, or the boulders and crevices and canyons and things like that, and was able to be stable walking down steep slopes, I feel more stable, I can walk step over step as I'm going downstairs. I have a two and a half year old daughter who is very energetic, uh, would, would cover it. It was quite important for me to have a knee that would allow me to maximise the number of activities I could I can actually do with her. Well the knee thinks as you're, as you're walking, so it can understand that you've changed speed. Uh, so it, change, it changes the valve patterns in, in, the, in the knee in order to speed up or slow down, uh, make it a shorter gait pattern or a longer gait pattern. Um, I just put her on my shoulders and walked straight across the park, but that's not something I would have felt at all comfortable, um, even to the point where I, I would never have dreamt of, of, of putting her on my shoulders and then walking before. A variety of sensors measure weight transfer speed and knee angle to determine the knee security requirements. The knee is intelligent because an onboard microprocessor takes information from the sensors to anticipate support and speed requirements. The microprocessor is programmed with 8,000 lines of code that uses the data from a whole range of amputees. Using this data, the processor instantly activates a unique combination of hydraulic and pneumatic actuators. The hydraulics provide sensitive stance control by varying the resistance to knee flexion. The pneumatics provide a very wide range of speed control by encouraging knee extension at an appropriate rate, powered by the compressed air in the chamber. As you descend the first step of the stair, the hydraulic resistance offers an appropriate yield level to stiffen the knee. The pneumatics assist the knee to extend ready for the next step. And I absolutely love having um, a house again and living with stairs. Since I've got the Orion leg, I've got even more stability on the stairs. I'm able to carry more up the stairs and down the stairs, which is very handy when you've got a, a 15 month old daughter. Whereas before it was very hard work, even in a bungalow, I struggled to do tidying and everything. But now I don't mind going up and down stairs all day. And I just thoroughly enjoy of just normal activities and I'm not constantly thinking about it and not constantly thinking about if I'm going to fall over because I, I never fall over on the Orion. It's very, very stable and that's the, the big difference to, to my previous legs. Uniquely, the microprocessor in the Orion optimises itself for each amputee by analysing the individual's gait pattern through self-programming technology. I used to feel I may fall and obviously for something hot so I used to actually avoid hot drinks but now I will go anywhere and have hot drinks without worrying. Okay so we're going to do multi speed walking. The clinician so activates the, the programming the phase in the knee with a clear set of instructions. Push the minus button. The amputee walks around in their selected environment so that the knee can adapt to their preferred walking style and the environment. The clinician is kept informed of the status of the knee by colour-coded LEDs on the knee control centre. If I'm walking with my daughter, for example, I was surprised it was so easy. I was surprised it can be so clever. And I, I don't pretend to understand all the technology behind it, but I, it's incredibly clever that actually something so so small, so simple, has so much complexity behind it that it instantly understands how you walk um, and what you're walking on and responds to, 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 to those changes in, in environment more or less instantly.